55 sequences and two cars from the 2015 sequences. Right next to the futuristic cars, prehistoric cars that we use in the Flintstones. We've got some very fast cars that were used in the Fast and the Furious films. One of the newest cars we have up here is something called the Flip Car. This was used in Fast and Furious 6. Military vehicles that were used in Transformers, which film turned a lot. And right behind the tank is one of the chargers that Vin Diesel drove in the first, The Fast and the Furious. We also have a few more picture cars scattered throughout the park. While you're walking around to our rides and shows, we have some more famous cars uh, throughout the studio. If you'd like to get a picture of yourself next to the DeLorean that was used in Back to the Future, we have that here on the lot in a, a museum called the Universal Experience, which is located right next to the Transformers ride. And there's a few more picture cars we're going to see on the tour. There are some right in front of us. John Hammond. Oh, please remember to remain seated while we're moving. Please don't stand up while our tram is moving. This is where we have some of the sets and some of the vehicles that were used in the Jurassic Park films. We even have a few dinosaurs up in this part of lot. What kind of dinosaurs? Spitters. And they're attacking us from both sides. Oh, why do dinosaurs keep spitting on us? Just just saying. <laughs> if you didn't get wet by spitting dinosaurs, don't laugh. And if there's anyone sitting around you that got wet, don't laugh at them. Because A, that's not nice. And B, the tour is not over. What does he mean? We're at a movie studio. So it's entirely possible for us to create weather effects anytime, any place. I'm not a professional weatherman. I'm not going to try to predict the weather. But I have access to Al Roker, a professional weatherman from the Today Show. Here's today's forecast for the Universal Backlot. It's going to be sunny and dry at Six Points, Texas. Cool and cloudy in Little Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street. And we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Island of Draw. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your day. Sure. So think there's a flash oh, no. in old Mexico, which is the area that we're stopped in right now. We've stopped the tram because I want to show you what it looks like. Look over there. Al Roker just predicted a flash flood and it started raining really hard. This part of back rock because the set is built on a hill. And during heavy storms like this, we don't want to have black foot. You might want to be careful if you're sitting on the left side of the tram. Watch the top of the hill, keep your cameras protected. Here comes the flash foot. Wow. As we leave old Mexico, we cross the border into Texas, an area of our back lot called Six Points, Texas, and this is where we made a lot of our old westerns with people like John Wayne, Jimmy Stewart. It's a pretty historical part of our back lot because these are some of the first sets that were ever built here. Some of these buildings are about 100 years old. They were originally built for silent movies. That's how long they've been around. And I'm going to show you a shootout that was filmed on the street simply by covering the street with dirt.
This town ain't big enough for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Live. I hear this where John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot you. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. I want to see you mount up and get out of town when we get you. All right. I'll see you again, fella. These old sets are still used. Just a few months ago, a movie filmed on the street called Saving Mr. Banks. And it's based on a true story. It's a movie that tells the story of the making of the movie Harry Poppins. It stars Tom Hanks and Walt Disney. It comes out theaters in December. And these are scenes from some of the westerns done out there with Clint Eastwood, Kurt Douglas, John Wayne, and James Stewart. Well, maybe you're just gonna stir things up here. Bad idea. And so far, we've driven you through the middle of a New York City street. We drove you through an old western town. The next part of the back lot we're going to take you through is another country. Uh, it's an area of our studio called Little Europe. And we can make this look like different countries. For example, if you've seen the movie The Muppets with Jason Segel and Amy Allen, all the Muppets go to Paris to visit Miss Piggy. All of those Paris scenes were done out of this part of the back lot. It's been used as ancient Rome. In Spartacus, it was supposed to be Spain in the action film Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. There's a scene at, uh, near the end of the film where they're both on a motorcycle and they're being chased by a bull through the streets of Spain. That chase scene took place out here on these cobblestone streets. Back in the 1930s and 1940s, this was frequently seen as London in a lot of our uh, classic war movies. This is where we did sequences from Frankenstein, Dracula, The Wolf Man, The Invisible Man, The Phantom of the Opera, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. In almost all those classic horror movies, they had angry villagers with torches and pitchforks and bloodhounds, and they're trying to chase the monsters out of town. These are angry the villagers running around as part of our studio. Who's your cow? The monster. He's in the woods. Get out the back. Raise all the men you can, lock the women indoors, and wait for me. I'm ready. Go and your torches and go. On the left side of the tram is the newest set on our lot. This house was built last year for the television show Home and Family, which is kind of a combination of a talk show and a home improvement show. It airs every weekday on the Hallmark Channel. It's hosted by Mark Steinis and Christina Ferrari. They're not filming today, they're on hiatus. That's their fancy word for vacation. So they're taking two weeks off. A lot of times when they film the show, they film out in the backyard, and they don't care if the trams drive by in the background. So a lot of times people take the tour, and they end up on their show in the background. 